being January and February, it's actually a season to eat mussels because they are um, coming to season and it's always good to eat things when they are in season. Um, those mussels are actually just bought from supermarket. Um, they usually come in a net bag. Um, I just put them in some water, cold water, with a bit of um, uh, oil just to uh, get them to uh, clean out their grit and things so that they will spit it out. Um, after you've done that, leave them for a couple of hours and then give them a good couple, couple of cold water rinse as well so you know it can all be cleaned out. Um, I don't normally bother with um, cleaning all the um, bits and pieces out because they will just um, come off when you uh, finish cooking them. Now, um, I actually like to have lots of garlic and onion with my mussels, so I've chopped, um, have a few cloves of uh, garlic um, sort of mashed and chopped up a few onion. Now, with mussels, you can have um, them made into a soup base, very good soup base. So after eating the uh, mussels, you can leave the liquid and, and use it for another soup. That's why I like it to have lots of onion because then you can use it for other meat stock or, or other fish stock to make into other things. Um, but cooking this is very, very quick. So I'll just uh, show you how to do that. Okay, so we heat up a big pot, um, ideally a fairly big pot so you don't get overspill. Um, get it heated up. Um, use a little bit of butter. Um, just to give the um, fried onions and garlic with some flavour there, um, add that in. Um, now that might not be enough, um, as you can see, because we've got quite a bit of onions and garlic. But there is a trick that um, Sam of uh, Seven Dials in Brighton taught me, is to actually use a bit of olive oil as well and that will actually prevent the um, butter to, to burn but it's also give a, a nice flavour there. Um, I'm using a slightly uh, mild and lighter one for this um, particular mixture because um, you don't want the uh, oil flavour to uh, overwhelm the uh, mussels too much. So you just wait for it to melt as it's sizzling nicely. Put in the garlic. Give it a good mix up. And then add the onions. fairly high so it's actually give it a good quick sweat through the idea is not to brown them but actually get them sweated That's cooking. Let's have a look at the mussels itself themselves. You can actually see some of the mussels actually opening up. Um, they are open, and um, some of them are actually quite clean now that you put them through a couple of changes of water. Um, if you buy them and you come back and you're not eating them immediately, you can always put them in the fridge. Um, fairly cold, put them in the fridge with some um, with a damp cloth around them, they should be okay for a few hours. Um, but don't leave them outside unless you want to unless you want to put them into water because otherwise they're gonna they're not gonna be too happy about things. Um, okay, so we got the onions more or less wet up through now. And 
you just tip all of the mussels in. Give it a good stir around. Okay, another bit of salt. Just a tiny bit. Um, I like using cool sea salt um, because that for cooking that's pretty good for it. Now you can see it's started to heat up and all you need to do is then put the lid on and wait for a little bit of time. Now it's been about a couple of minutes. You can actually see that some of the mussels start opening up because of the heat. Um, you give it a good stir around so that the um, onions and the uh, mussels all mixed in together nicely. And then what you do is you put some white wine in. And I'll cover it up and then wait for it to cook.